Hey guys, welcome back to Sunday Potluck. I'm gonna be making a recipe out of the second edition of the O Taste and See cookbook today. And um, as I was looking through, trying to figure out what recipe I was gonna to do today, um, I came across this chicken fried rice from my cousin-in-law. And as I'm reading down through it, I was like, okay, I've got all this stuff. I don't have chicken, so we're gonna do a meatless uh, fried rice. Um, but it's not vegan because it does have eggs and butter in it. So I guess you could do an egg substitute and make it vegan if that's what you want to do. But um, anyways, and so I was reading down here in the notes section and it says Aunt Susan learned how to cook this fried rice. And I was, okay, so at first I didn't realize it was Nicole that had put the recipe in and I'm reading it and I'm like, oh, Susan, she and Uncle Robert were stationed in Guam and, and she shared this recipe and I'm like, that's really neat. I wonder if she knows, if that Susan knows my Susan, which is my mother-in-law. And then I got, I looked at the thing and I was like, okay, dumb dumb. <laughs> it's my mother-in-law. <laughs> so anyways, um, I'm going to, I've got everything kind of prepped except for my scrambled eggs. So I've got to go scramble those. So I'm going to move over to the stove and uh, we'll go from there. But I thought that was so funny. Okay, so it just says to do four to six um, scrambled eggs. So I did five. And I'm just gonna do them the way I would normally scramble eggs, which is I put about a tablespoon of butter um, in my pan. And this pan's a little bit bigger than what I normally use, but because I need it for the rice, um, I figured, well, I'll just use it for this. And um, I don't know how y'all scramble your eggs, you know, so scramble them however you like. Um, And then probably the way I do it is not the way you do it and the way my mama didn't do it. And I don't know. So just do it however you normally scramble your eggs. Um, and then after the eggs are scrambled, you're going to set those aside. And I'll go ahead and tell you everything else that you're going to need. Um, you need um, six cups of cooked rice. Um, and I just use minute rice. Um, and then that way kind of it's a quick meal if you do the minute rice if you cook regular rice it might take a little bit longer but um i know you can use leftover rice so if you are going to make rice for a dish the night before make extra and put it in the refrigerator and then you already have your rice um ready to go for this for the next night or for lunch um okay so you're gonna need a pound of chicken breast cubed up you can also use um, leftover pork chops or um, any kind of protein that you want in there. Um, I think I've got some shrimp in the freezer and my husband's actually gonna put some shrimp in with some of, well, I'll put some shrimp in with some of this just so he can have the shrimp. Um, you're gonna do a half a cup of cut, of, I'm sorry, a half a cup of carrots chopped a whole onion chopped up, a half a stick of butter, two tablespoons of oil, one tablespoon of minced garlic, and um, soy sauce, and salt and pepper to your tasting. So, um, you scramble your eggs, and it says to cook rice according to the package. Um, scramble the eggs and set them aside, and then you're going to cook the chicken and butter and all of that, but since I don't have chicken and butter or chicken and butter since I don't have chicken I'm gonna um, cook the eggs and I'll set them to the side and then I'll cook the carrots and the onions like I would with the chicken and um, until that's all done and then I'll combine it all together I know some of y'all are like y'all butchering you're butchering those eggs and but they're gonna be all chopped up anyway because you don't want clumps of egg in your um, in your fried rice. And I'm gonna cook it a little bit longer in a little bit anyway, so I'm gonna just put this. This pan is so heavy. Sorry, y'all seeing the bottom of my pan. Okay, so I'm gonna put those that there, 
And then to my skillet that I did the eggs in, I'm going to add um, my butter. You combine your butter, your oil, your onion, carrots, and garlic. So, and I've got this, um, the garlic that I'm using is like the um, minced garlic that you get in the season section. It's not even like, uh, I mean, it's real garlic, but it's not fresh garlic. I'm gonna saute this until the, um, until the onions and the carrots are softer. Um, just because I'm not adding the chicken. If I had chicken in here, I would cook it until the chicken is done and then um, go from there. So I'm just gonna chop up the onion, but maybe I didn't chop it up extremely well. So, so yeah, I'm just gonna leave this like this until this is all sauteed and then I'll come back. Okay guys, so the carrots and the onions are almost ready to go and i just have been kind of taking a bite of a carrot every once in a while just to see how um how soft they are just to kind of get an idea but i kind of like my veggies a little bit crunchy in my um fried rice so um you can cook them down more if you want to but i think i'm going to go ahead and start um adding the rest of this stuff in so um okay so i'm going to add the rice it said add the pre-cooked rice and eggs on medium heat and stir gently frying the rice and then you add the salt and pepper to that and then you're going to add your soy sauce um to that and she put in and i have no idea how to say pronounce this brand I think it's Kiko man is the best to use but um we have a, a friend of ours who's a Japanese um student college student here and she said it doesn't really matter what um what soy sauce you use she gets the generic brand so if, if she's gonna go generic I can go generic too um, so we're, I'm just going to stir this all up until it's kind of all incorporated. I'm going to chop up some of the, the bigger pieces of the, and I'm making a mess, y'all. And I love fried rice, but you can um, you can add, like I said, if you have leftover um, pork chops or if you've got leftover chicken, um, this is a great way to use leftovers. And you can half it, you know, if you just got a little bit of chicken and you want to put in there, just go ahead and just cook a little bit of rice and a, put a little bit of onion and a little bit of carrots. And if you don't have carrots or you don't like carrots, and you want to put in um, another vegetable, then by all means put in another vegetable. Um, I'm just going to put in a little bit of salt because soy sauce is, is fairly, um, well that's not going to be enough, I'll tell you that now. Soy sauce is fairly salty, so, um, but yeah, so this is how my mother-in-law makes her fried rice. And like I said earlier, she was stationed, um, her, well, she was stationed, but my father-in-law was stationed on Guam. My, um, husband and my brother-in-law were actually born in Guam. Um, you wouldn't know it. I mean, you wouldn't, by looking at them, you wouldn't know they, you know, because they're Americans. But, uh, that didn't sound right, but y'all know what I mean. Um... But anyway, so this is my mother-in-law's fried rice that she learned how to make while she was stationed over in Guam. So I'm going to let this cook for a little bit longer. It says to let it cook. 
what does it say? Um, stir rice gently frying the earth. Heat and stir gently frying your rice. Add salt and pepper and soy sauce to taste. So, um, I'm gonna say that that is done then. And I'm actually just gonna reuse my bowl right there. And I'm gonna add, I'm gonna put some of that in there. And then, yeah, I'm so excited. I love fried rice. Okay, so I'm gonna turn that off. And I'm not gonna tell anybody that it's done just quite yet. And we're gonna, yeah, turn that off. It's so stinking hot. So I'm gonna uh, let this cool off just a little bit. And um, we'll, uh, well, actually, you don't have to see me eat this. Uh, I'll eat it right now. Mm, it was good. It was hot. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And um, subscribe to Sunday Potluck. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.